Hello movie lovers! Bob for Bob's this movie review here and today I'm bringing you guys my new Blu-ray and DVD shopping guide for Tuesday, January 12th, 2020. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. I always hope you guys appreciate the work that goes into putting out one of these videos each and every week. Now there isn't really a lot of super exciting stuff this week guys. We don't really have any uh, major hit movies. Um, but I think there is a couple of titles of interest for this week. So remember guys, you can find affiliate links to purchase these movies in the description below and using those links does help support the channel. So first up this week we have Jungle Land. This one is releasing on a DVD and digital. Amazon and Walmart $12.96, Best Buy and Target $12.99. Paramount Home Entertainment did send me over a copy of Jungle Land for review and I did post an unboxing of this. If you'd like to check that out, search for Jungle Land on my channel. Now this was the story of two brothers and I thought it was going to be like a boxing movie but it was more like a kind of like an underground fighting uh, I think it was kind of like underground fighting and they, I don't know that they really like at the beginning it seemed like underground fighting and then later it seemed like an organized fight but it was, it was more like just bare knuckle brawling um, I guess and so and so the one brother he's the fighter and the other brother is like his trainer and manager and uh, unfortunately he seems to have a gambling problem and they owe this guy money and there's this whole thing where his brother finds out and he he throws the fight and I'm just like I don't know, like, it seems like you're getting you and your brother in a lot of trouble here to prove a point. Um, and then so in order to pay back the guy he owes the money, he has to transport this woman uh, to another, I, I don't know if it's a state or town or whatever. And um, and then when they get there, they're going to enter this fight that they could win like $100,000. Now, this movie starts out really strong, you know, with the action and fighting and a uh, very interesting story. And the, the way that they go on this journey, I don't, I don't think it kind of gets into a lull in the middle. Not that it's bad, but it definitely kind of lulls in the middle. And then at the end, uh, you know, it hits the fan. Everything goes crazy. You find out why they're transporting this girl. Uh, what's going on and the one brother gets abducted by like a crime boss or something and um, Really good ending like I love the last maybe third of the movie. Uh, it was very interesting So overall I did enjoy the movie. It does have some action well, Maybe has a little bit of romance uh, You know it, overall a very interesting story. Uh, I gave this one a three and a half out of five No, it's definitely uh, worth checking out uh, especially if you're into kind of like fighting or boxing movies uh, definitely interesting. Next up is Skylines. This one is releasing on a Blu-ray, Amazon and Walmart $14.96, Best Buy and Target $14.99. It will also be releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart $12.96, Target $12.99, and Best Buy $13.99. Now I did review this one guys uh, when it released on digital. I gave it a three to five. I don't remember my specific thoughts on the film, uh, but I, I wasn't real familiar with the first two. I had seen the first one, but never seen the second one. But even that was almost 10 years ago, I think, when the first one came out. So, you know, I was it was kind of not the best situation, but I gave it three to five. You know, I remember it kind of being interesting, but uh, it wasn't one that I really loved. Uh, next up is Twilight Zone season two. Now this is the CBS all access uh, Twilight Zone. Uh, it is only releasing on a DVD. Uh, press materials did say that it will be coming to Blu-ray in the future, but it will be a manufacturer on demand version, which to me is, is pretty disappointing. Um, I don't know that I don't know that they've been doing manufacturer on demands on the CBS All Access. And it, it's just uh, troubling, I guess would be the way to put it, um, that more and more uh, titles are going to manufacture on demand and you know it, it's just troubling trend to see um, for for movie fans and collectors and whatnot but it is what it is so it is releasing today on a DVD Amazon and Best Buy $24.99 Walmart $27.96 and Target $27.99 now CBS did send me over a copy of the Twilight Zone season two for review. I don't have an unboxing of this up yet. I just got it. Uh, I haven't had time to um, record that and edit it, but I did watch it. I did have time to check it out. It, it was 10 episodes. Um, the episodes I'm pretty sure weren't like a, they were around 30, 40, 
high 30s to, to mid 40s like they I didn't seem like they were like an exact like 42 or 45 minutes um, some seem shorter than others and you know what there's a lot of varying degrees of ideas uh, throughout the season which I think is what you want to see in a show like this you know you don't want to see a lot of similar kind of things um, they got like um, animal monster creatures and psychics and aliens and Groundhog's Day, which I felt was kind of a ripoff, but then it ended up ending pretty good, so I, I kind of like that one. Um, you know, there's just a lot, uh, a magic medallion thing. There's there's all kinds of different stuff, and uh, some episodes I liked more than others, and I think a lot of that's going to be up to personal preference. Like maybe you'll be into the psychic, but not the magic medallion thing, <laughs> or whatever. You know, I personally thought the psychic episode was the best episode. I loved it. it had this crazy ending. It was so good. The last episode of the season, which is weird because the last episode of season one was my least favorite of the season. The last episode of season two was also my least favorite. And they're just kind of a weird episode and I just couldn't follow along with it. Um, but I liked it. You know, they, I don't think they had as good a guest stars as season one. Um, but I feel like the stories maybe were better. It's, I'm trying to remember back to season one, but I really enjoyed this one, guys. Uh, I gave it a uh, three and a half out of five. Definitely a fun show if you guys are into the Twilight Zone. Uh, I think this is definitely one to check out. Uh, next up is Spell, and I was not sent a copy of Spell. I'll probably pick it up pretty soon just so I can cover it for the channel, but uh, I haven't pre-ordered it or anything. I was hoping on, on all hope that a copy would come in, but it never did. So it is releasing on a Blu-ray and digital Amazon and Walmart 1996 at Best Buy 1999 and Target 2799. It is also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart 1796, Best Buy 2299 and Target 2599. If you guys have seen Spell, I would really love to hear you guys' thoughts on it. I don't think I even saw the trailer, so, <laughs> you know, is, is it one to check out? Next up, Ultraman Taro, the complete series. Now, this one is it releasing on a steelbook, which will include Blu-ray and digital. Amazon, Target and Walmart, $33.49. Best Buy, $34.99. And then we'll also have a Blu-ray and digital copy pack. Uh, Amazon, Best Buy, Target and Walmart, all $24.99. Now, I don't plan on getting this one anytime soon. I will pick up that steelbook hopefully at some point, but uh, I'm missing a couple of the last uh, Mill Creek Ultraman steelbooks. It hasn't been real high up on my list of priorities, but it is one that I definitely plan to add to the collection at some point. Uh, and, and now we have a couple of the Mill Creek uh, VHS style slip covers uh, that are releasing. First up will be The Freshman. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart, all $8.99. Next up, Crossroads, releasing on a Blu-ray. Amazon Best Buy, Target, Walmart, all $8.99. <laughs> Next up is Blind Fury. This one, again, is releasing on a Blu-ray. Amazon Best Buy and Target, $8.99. Walmart, no listing. And then Like Father, Like Son. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray. Amazon Best Buy, Target, and Walmart, $8.99. Next up, guys, we have Manifest Season 2. This one is releasing on a DVD, Amazon, and Best Buy $27.99, Walmart $29.99, and Target No Listing. Now, Warner Brothers did send me over a copy for review, but I just got this yesterday afternoon. Haven't even opened it yet, so uh, we'll have to give you guys a review of this one in an upcoming shopping guide. Um, I believe I did review episode one when I was still reviewing for uh, NPC. Uh, <laughs> that whole deal is a mess, but um, you know, I never saw season one, so I definitely need to get season one, um, but I will be reviewing season two. It definitely sounds like an interesting show. Uh, and last up this week, guys, we have Legacy season two releasing on a DVD, Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart $27.99, and Target no listing. Now again, Warner Brothers did send me over a copy for review um, but again, I just got this one in yesterday. I got like a stack of stuff in from Warner Archive. And um, so I haven't even unboxed this one yet. Um, and to be honest, I'm not even sure what this one's about. It is season two. Um, I will have to pick up season one, I guess, uh, to get the backstory. But uh, I'll just have to try to post a review of this one soon. Uh, maybe, maybe next week or the week after. Um, but yeah, definitely looking forward to checking out both of those. And uh, I don't know, I think The Twilight Zone was pretty good, guys. I love The Twilight Zone, I love The Outer Limits. Like, I think those shows are so much fun. I definitely enjoyed this season. 
I'm, I'm glad they brought it back. As always though guys, I just love to hear if you guys have seen anything discussed today, what you guys thought of it. If you guys plan on picking any of them up, what are you guys picking up? You know, I always love to hear like if people are thinking one title is gonna be really popular or people aren't feeling a title. Uh, but if you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, check out the videos, and I'll see you guys next time.